Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesign.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click that little blue button. It's in this box area. Click it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Hi. Can you tell what I'm working on next? Remember this from the shop? Um, it's been sitting out there in the hallway for a hot second, for a month. <laughs> I need a bigger workshop, clearly. I mean, I'm right now, I'm, I have to climb over this to get to the door at this point. But it's getting done. We're going to do it. I'm putting feet on it. I'm going to make this into a bookshelf. It's the upper, it's a hutch part of a base that's sold. Nobody wanted the hutch. So what do you do with the hutch? I could add it to the burn pile or send it to the thrift store. Or in this case, I was using it in the shop just to put stuff in and make shelves. And then one day I thought, yeah, I like it as a shelf, but I want the bottom is open. And I thought I want to put a bottom on it, add some feet, bring it up, make it a proper shelf. So that's what I'm going to do. But that's not why I'm here today. <laughs> so I was at work all day. So I, I have no DIY video. It's getting late in the day. Victoria is not feeling good. So I don't have, I didn't have a lot of time to run to Vintage Junkie was what I was going to do. If I picked her up from archery tonight and she's not going because she's not feeling good. So here we are. But I wanted to show you guys. So this weekend was Picket, and I picked Picket. I bought some stuff. And I want your opinion, and I want your help with what we're going to do with it. Okay, well, there's a couple things in here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So if you watched yesterday's haul video, um, if not, go back and watch yesterday's haul video, because what are you doing here? Go watch the other haul video. Uh, I picked up some Russian teaspoons, like the, um, I think it's like, what is it called? Lacquerware, the lacquerware spoons, uh, these, these from the Goodwill. I got these at the Goodwill, remember? I got this one at Picket. So I think I'm going to make a set. This one's smaller than this, but I think when I list them, is it smaller? It is smaller. Well, not really. This one, nope, they're the same. Nope, it is smaller, so it's shorter. I think I'm going to list them all together. I have another set of three up there, and I think I have it at 25, but they're different. They're just a little different, a little green. But these are the Russian lacquerware spoons. Um, I wonder if maybe I should put all six of them together. I don't know, you can weigh in on that too when you comment down below, but that's not what I need your help with. Next. One of the vendors had this bag. <laughs> so in here are a bunch of vintage bottle caps. It was three bucks for the entire bag. And I bought it. Now, if you remember, if you, like back in the day, they saved their bottle caps because they'd recap them. I have a bottle capper in the garage. That's not why I bought these. What I'm thinking for these because there's a lot of different brands in here. There's even an old Coca-Cola old smoothie root beer. I'm thinking magnets or push pins or we're going to upcycle these into something because it's not like we're going to be recapping bottles. And I did see an old Coca-Cola. Where's the old Coca-Cola? Here's the Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola. But there was a bunch of different brands in here. And I'm thinking for the $3, I... If I did magnets, I'd get $3 a piece for them. You know what I mean? Cute little vintage bottle cap magnets. Imitation grape soda. Man down. Oh, hang on. I don't want to lose it. That's three bucks. <laughs> hang on. I got to get my money back. It was the Coca-Cola one, too. You don't want to lose that one. Not with the Coca-Cola collectors out there. Um, so I picked that up. 
So we're definitely going to upcycle those into, and I would like to know like any other ideas that you might have for those. So like I thought about taking push pins and using resin and filling the bottle cap with resin and then setting the push pins in them, make little push pins. Or like I said, you can glue a magnet in the back of it and it's a quick flip. Anything else? <laughs> Keep in mind, I need to have a certain amount of skill level to do whatever you guys are like. Don't go. Well, you can weave them. In. I can't weave nothing. I'm not weaving nothing. All right. I'm not crocheting. I don't have that skill. Stay away from the sewing. We don't have that skill here. <laughs> I'm open to suggestions, but stay in the possibility, the realm of possibility for Stacy. Someday I'm going to take another sewing. I've taken multiple sewing classes. It has not worked out for me. Um, I keep seeing people sew and they're like, it's easy. Here's an easy sewing project. And I think I could do that. <laughs> Turns out I can't. I bought a sewing machine. Y'all, I went out and bought a sewing machine thing and I could at least hem some curtains. <laughs> they look like this. <laughs> and I was like, how did that happen? I followed the line. Like, just follow the guide, Stacey. Follow the guide. So I'm like, okay, follow the guide. Follow the guide. <laughs> and I'm like, closely follow, and I'm pushing it through and I pull it up and I'm like, what happened? The last thing in this bag is the thing that I actually want your help with for ideas. So I took a picture of this and I put it on Instagram and Facebook and I was, cause I'm selling it, right? So not me personally, but the vendor that's selling it. It's my job to get people to buy it. And they did. The other two that were with this sold right after I bought this one. It's a wallpaper stamp. It's an antique wallpaper. This thing is heavy. It is metal. And here's my thinking. <laughs> here's my thought process was, what could we do with that? Like, could I get tissue paper and stamp this? You know how good I am at stamping though. So maybe that, but maybe that was like a pipe dream, but I don't even know how to use these. Right? So, I'm gonna have to figure out like how they did this. It is metal, like all these little things in here are little metal spikes. I don't know how they did this, but worst comes to worst, we just sell it again. So, so I'm gonna see like, can I do something with this? Can we use it on furniture? Can we do something like print some paper and decoupage it? I'm interested to see what you guys think and what you guys think of maybe trying something like that because it was 24 bucks. She had three of them. One of them was like a triangly thing. One was another really worse intricate floral than this. Like this is pretty intricate, but it, let me get you close here. But the other one was like super intricate <laughs> and I went, uh, well, it seems like there's more possibility for error there. So I went with this one, but it's 24 bucks. And my thinking was, well, it's $24 and we could try something. If it doesn't work, we just move it on. We just put a price tag back on it and sell it, right? Because it's an antique wallpaper stamp. I'll be honest, I Googled stamping wallpaper, like antique wallpaper stamp. I can't find anything. Nobody's using it. So it's like, let me know in the comments below what you think I should try and do. Should I try and actually like stamp on furniture? Should I try maybe embossing something with it? Ooh, we could probably emboss with this. It's got a texture like good enough to emboss. I don't know. I don't know. It's so full of possibilities. And then I, I seriously keep thinking, well, if we did like actually stamp paper, cause it was for wallpaper and I don't know how they did it. Cause I can't find nothing on it. 
Why couldn't we stamp paper and then use it as like a decoupage? All right, so that's what I need. This is what I need your help with, guys. I'm open to suggestions on these as well. But I would like to know what you think I should do with this. I can't guarantee it's going to get done like tomorrow because I got to do this. My new boxes are in here too. My new shipping boxes. Yeah, bring in color. <laughs> you didn't see that, but I wanted to get them out of the living room for uh, at Christmas at my house yesterday. Um, but I would like to hear your suggestions. So we've got these, which we kind of have a plan for, but I would like to hear if you guys have any other cool ideas that you're like, hey, you could do this, you could try this, maybe I'll do it. But this is the one I really need help with. So get your thinking caps on. Start thinking about it. I mean, this is, it's a heavy metal piece, so we can emboss on it. We could probably do a lot. Like we could probably stamp it to clay. We could probably, I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting really excited with all the possibilities. I'm open. So you guys let me know what you think I should do with it. And then we'll go from there. So that's all I wanted to show you was what I picked up at Picket. And get your input on what you think I should do with them. All right. Comment down below. Or DM me on, on Instagram or email me or send a letter to the PO box. And if you need that, it's right here. So however you want to get information to me on what do you think I should do with this, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin' because you never know what you're going to find. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.